Welcome to plot one and starting a new allotment. Uh, recycling pallets to make uh, fence posts. That's how the pallet comes. This is how it ends up. Uh, those in the middle there, the shorter ones, will be uh, for the posts for the raised beds uh, with the scaffold planks. And then we've put a simple point, well, wedge, not a point. I'll show you that when I actually fit the uh, posts in. But I've used uh, oil and creosote. Not everybody will like that, but that's uh, everybody's preference. And you might recognise that post from home on the log store. It snapped off, if you remember. Well, it's plenty long enough now for a gate post. We'll just have a look, quick look at this and how I use the post to work for me. This will be the face of the post. So it doesn't matter if it goes this way or that way. But obviously, to get the upright bit... I'll show you how I do that uh, when I actually put the posts in. But the wedges don't have to be accurate because we're not worried about the distance between the posts. They're just there to support the wire netting. And when we uh, actually fit the post, we can, if the post is slightly out, we can lean the post at an angle, knock it in a bit more, lift it back up, tap it in again and hopefully all the posts will be in line. Hope you found that useful. Remember, if you see something, pick it up. Don't always wait until you need something else, you'll have to pay through the nose. Like I say, I mix oil with the creosote just to make it go that bit further. And hopefully we won't have the issue like the other plot holder had, or whoever put the posts in. They've wrapped the plastic bags around the posts. They're the intermediate posts. It hasn't worked. Yes, we will get a little bit of leaching, but I'm prepared to live with that. Thanks for watching guys, as before please comment with useful suggestions, comments and if you disagree with what I'm doing please comment in a constructive manner. Happy gardening everyone, till next time.